All right, gang, Jeremy Hazel here for Seven Season Studios, and this is a lesson from our brand new course, Affinity Designer, How to Do Artistic Text and Font in Affinity Designer. So if you like this lesson and you want to learn more about Affinity Designer, go ahead and check out the link below for an exclusive offer for our YouTube folks. Other than that, let's go ahead and get into here and start rolling those credits. All right, let's create something. All right, folks, and welcome to Affinity Designer. So in this lesson, we're going to show you something called an adjustment layer. Now, this is not implied to be a how to on everything adjustment, but we're going to show you what you need in order to pull off the projects we got coming up. So let's go ahead and let's drag out some text. Let's just call it adjust. All right, perfect. Now let's make some of this text blue and some of it red. Now you should know how to do this. All right, perfect. Now let's go ahead and center this text up here. All right, close enough for horseshoes and hand grenades. Now you see the layer that's created is a text layer. We've already beat this one to death, but now the adjustment panel is saw, shown down here in the layers panel and you see it's the little half circle. Go ahead and click that. These are all the adjustment layers that are available in affinity designer. Now, an adjustment layer allows you to work non-destructively. Now, what does that even mean? Let's check this out. Let's say that I want to change this from a color to a black and white image. I use the black and white adjustment layer. And now where'd my text go? Well, let's see, it was red and blue, right? So let's go ahead and push down the reds. Hey, there it is. And let's go ahead and push down the blues. Ah, there it is. And then I can even adjust the blend mode if I want. I can make it normal. I can go through and adjust a lot of crazy stuff with the blend mode. I can use hard light and I get a couple different colors. And then when I'm good with that, I can go ahead and click off it. Now, look at the layer structure that's created. Adjust, black and white adjustment layer. Now watch what happens when I turn it off. It comes right back to normal. I didn't lose any data by using an adjustment layer. So black and white on, black and white off. And now if I don't like this anymore, I can select it, I can right click, and I can just delete the adjustment layer and I'm right back to my original text. Adjustment layers allow you to work non-destructively. And for those that don't know what that is, when you work non-destructively, you can always change your mind and go back. If you work destructively, you've destroyed the image. All right, let's take a look at a couple more and then we'll move on to the next type of lessons that will allow you to complete the project. Let's go ahead and invert. Now we come over here and let's hit invert. Whoa, what just happened, right? You remember our color wheel? Well, we had blue text. Guess what the opposite of blue is? Yellow. We had red text. Guess what the opposite of red is? This kind of aqua greenish color. So it takes it and it inverts it. Now let's say you just hate that with every fiber of your being. Just select the layer and hit delete. Now, another common adjustment layer is that of recolor. Now let's make sure, let's do this so you see the process. I'm on the adjustment layer. We're gonna hit the recolor. Now watch this. Notice how it made it all red, so it recolors everything in the box. And you can adjust that. You can adjust the saturation. You can adjust the blend mode in here, same as you could before. And if you adjust the blend mode, you can even get crazy and adjust the blend mode options through the curves panel. That's a whole other ball of wax right there. All right, and if you don't like the recolor, you select it and you can delete the layer. So kind of wrapping this thing up, folks, working non-destructively is accomplished in Affinity Designer through the use of adjustment layers. And I'll tell you what, the more effectively you can use these, the better off you're going to be. Now, the last thing that I'm going to show you here, let's go ahead and let's just go adjustment layer. Okay. Now, we have been applying these adjustment layers over to the individual layers, like adjust and layer. Watch this. If I'm just in the top layer of adjustment and I come over here, 
and I'm going to change everything over to black and white. Now, you see how this layer is attached to this layer. This is how what it means. Let's go ahead and just make this a darker. Okay, go ahead and okay. You've seen this show before. Watch this. Click, drag out, and now, because we unparented it from any layer, it applies to every layer underneath it. So you want to make sure when you're working in adjustment layers to make sure, make sure, make sure that the adjustment layer is attached to the layer you want to adjust or your order is right. As an example, if I wanted this layer not to be black and white, I have to drag it up above or I have to nest this layer inside of the adjustment. All right, folks, that's a little bit on adjustment layers. Hope you learned a little something. We'll see you in the next one.